The person that you dealt with was a liar, was unfaithful, was a cheater. That's the person. That person wasn't this person that you're putting forth in your mind. That person doesn't exist. So stop. Getting over a breakup is hard. I'm not going to sit here and say it's easy and you should man up because it's not, it's not reality. All the plans and dreams you had with that person suddenly disappear and you feel like you're standing on a steep cliff about to fall. You realise that the reality you built together won't happen anymore. It's gone. Especially if they've tied themselves in your life. Like for example, you was married and the kids are now involved in a messy divorce situation where both of you want full custody. I get it. You may not be able to move on as fast as others, but you have to mentally move on. You have to emotionally detach yourself from that person and that's what's hard to do because obviously they were someone that you trusted. And the reason I know that you trusted them is because they got you to a point where they were able to betray your trust and destroy you. And that's probably why you're watching this video right now. It's even more reason to move on when you've got to see them for who they truly are. And I heard this on the Jocko podcast and it really made sense to me. He said that the person who broke you is not who you thought they were. The idea that they were this person that was trustworthy, faithful companion, is not true. That person doesn't exist. They didn't exist and they don't exist now. It was in your head that this person was trustworthy and faithful and they were everything you wanted them to be, but that is a lie. And it's so true. They are not that person because they can't be that person anymore. You can't allow them to be a good, amazing character in your head if you want to move on. You don't have to have some massive hatred, but you need to focus on the actions they did, which proved it to you. So move on. And I know it's easier said, but just get over it. Stop dwelling on what was and what could have been. Well, I know you may be stuck with those thoughts, oh, you don't understand, we had so many good times. But listen, if all those good times were so good, that's firstly proving that it's not about the person. You just enjoyed the moments. You can have those good times with anyone again. But also, after everything that's happened, they have broke up with you and you still can't see the red flags and how they mistreated you. And the reason that is, is because it's a trick from your brain. It's a hormone which is sent to your brain when you're attached with someone in a certain way. It's called oxytocin. It's where you feel this strong bond with a person you love. That's why you have these feelings, even though this person you like lies to you. You've seen the evidence of them cheating on you on your phone, but you put that to the side because you still miss them and want them back. You want that love back, that dopamine and high on love feeling. But you've got to realize it's a trick because it knows that you're emotional and it's telling you that your well-being is attached to this person. The chemical messages to your brain are telling you this girl is essential for you. You need her in your life. You can't let her go. This is where you have to be strong and not emotional and realize she or he is not essential. Move on. I've seen so many situations where people are just stuck and they don't listen to anything you say. You could be literally slapping someone in the face, telling them it's not right. They're not treating you good. You need to move on, but they won't listen. They're in another world. They can't hear you. You have to fight your brain to make that decision. I've seen and heard so many stories of boys and girls ruining their lives over their first love, over somebody that is completely abusive, whether it's mentally or physically, and they'll ruin their lives for this person. And I think it's because they build a fantasy life and they're in love with that fantasy and they want to keep it, but it's a fantasy. You're in dream world. I've seen it with my own mate. He went through it. He ignored all the red flags and kept going on about the good times. He ignored the red flags because of that built up oxytocin in his brain. He was so into this girl and he almost ruined his life for her. His parents rejected her. She was arguing with his family. He was arguing with his, he got in bad shape. He started putting on weight. One day he's in a good mood. Next minute he's pissed off because they've had a big fight. Then he gets depressed thinking about it and it starts giving off negative energy. Every time you're around him, he's just down, just makes you down. He was in a bad condition and it, it wasn't nice to see him like that, just over a girl. And we was only young then. We was like 20 years old. Now, after years later, after they broke up, he's thinking back saying, what was I thinking? 
Why didn't you save me? I said, you didn't listen to me, mate. I tried. Now it makes sense because the oxytocin chemical has now worn off and now all that logic makes complete sense to him now. There's no thinking with emotions and now he's recovered and got over it. It's like he's a new, different person. It's crazy that you can't talk any sense into people when they're in that situation. You try so hard and they just can't see it. They just can't hear it. But now, you knowing that it's a chemical in your brain that is tricking you, you can tell yourself, I'm not being tricked. Even though I feel the sadness, I'm missing that person, but I realize it's a trick. It's just my brain. That will help you manage it better. The worst thing is people actually really hurt themselves when they get betrayed or broken up with. And it's sad because it's just a trick in your brain. It's a lie. Your brain is telling you that you need that person, but you don't. So many guys or girls get so distraught over this fantasy that doesn't exist. And what's crazy is if, if they did just move on in a healthy, safe way, they probably would find a reality that matched what their desires were. I watched a video on Russell Brand where he hit the nail on the head when he mentioned his advice to get through painful breakups. He said that number one, accept that the breakup has happened and it was the right thing. And that's so true because you have to acknowledge that it's a part of your life now. Accepting the reality of the situation will help you to let go of any denial you have or wishful thinking that you might get back together. Second tip he said was understand that you can only control yourself and not others. And it's true. You can't control her. She has her own dreams and plans just like you do. She has her own desires. All you can do is control how you react. So choose to react in a positive manner. And by accepting this truth, you will experience less frustration and stress, leading to healthier relationships and personal fulfillment. Third tip, don't depend on someone else's opinion for your own happiness. Your happiness is down to you. How you feel and think is down to you. The sooner you stop letting other people's opinions affect you, the faster you'll get over a breakup. Fourth tip was learn to let go and move forward. Shift your focus from the past to the future. You have to think about the possibilities and opportunities that lie ahead. You've got to embrace the idea that the right person and the right relationship will come into your life when the time is right. What happened to you was just a learning curve, an experience, part of your journey. And the last piece of advice, trust that your future will be okay. Now you will find someone better suited for you. But don't repeat the same patterns. Don't make your ex a standard that no one can live up to. Last thing you want to do is place unrealistic expectations on others that you meet. You have to realize that everyone has their own unique personalities, beliefs, and values. Be open to better possibilities and stop thinking you know what's best for yourself. Start accepting people for who they are. Once you do that, you will allow yourself to connect a lot faster, appreciate the differences, and have happier, more positive relationships. The key is really to accept reality and be thankful. Be thankful that you were able to learn, be, be thankful that you were able to learn before you invested more into this person. Be thankful that you found out when you did that this person was a liar, that this person was toxic. Be thankful that you know it now instead of later. Recognize that there's plenty of people out there in the world that are trustworthy, that are faithful, that are genuinely good people out there. Now you just gotta go find one of them. Don't think that your ex was the only one in the world that could put up with you, because it's not true. Yes, it's gonna be hard in the beginning building up that trust with someone else again, because you're still healing and hurt. And to be honest, you don't wanna meet someone else right now. Understand, that's cool. Focus on yourself, rely on yourself, trust yourself, when someone breaks our trust, I get it, we start blaming ourselves. We start questioning ourselves. We start thinking, was my decision that bad? I'm not a good judge of human character. You start thinking things like, I must be stupid because I put my trust and faith into this one person and now look what they did to me. So what happens is, you don't even trust yourself now. So you gotta build that trust back up again with yourself, slowly but surely. And how do you do that? you might ask. Self-improvement, reading, writing, studying. That's what this channel is all about. Helping me and you become better people. 
better individuals for ourselves first and foremost. Recognize that it's okay to be alone. Don't get freaked out when you're alone and you've got no one to message you or call you anymore. Enjoy that time. Put yourself first. It's okay to be alone. Literally, the time you used to spend with him or her, go to the gym and release that tension. Better yourself. Do something productive and build that trust up in yourself. You can do this. You deserve better. And whenever you look back at the situation, just learn. Learn from your mistakes. So when you are ready to meet someone, you can take small steps and start to build up trust over time. Don't just jump in and give someone 100% trust straight out the gate because you remember what happened last time. And hell no, are you gonna go through that again? This time, you're gonna control the situation and your emotions. I know I keep saying this, but your person is out there. People all over the world are in relationships, having fun from every direction, regardless of their personal circumstances. There's someone out there for you, but you just can't get caught up in this mental trap and start obsessing over a fantasy. This is real life. I'm sorry to say it, but bad things do happen. But so do good things. You can get over it. And there's plenty of other people out there that are amazing and on your level. So go find one of them and in the meantime, focus on yourself. Become a better person. Start getting in better shape. Start improving your health. I'm doing these new videos nearly every day now. I'm putting in the work for you guys, so please hit the notification button at the end of this video because then you'll get a little bell. And when I post a new video, I'd appreciate if you can carry on watching my video so it motivates me to keep doing them. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Take care.